funding options at this stage. Uh, but before we talk about funding, I want to remind that funding is, uh, is, is a loan. It just pushes you know, your current needs uh, later and you have to often pay back them. Uh, so even if it's, uh, uh, so don't take loans if you, if you um, don't have yet validation that you can actually make the business work or take the loans knowing that you will then have to pay them back uh, by going to work somewhere else and you paid for your time to, to fully commit and test this. Same goes for the investor, you're just uh, losing equity unnecessarily uh, just to give you time to do validation that you can do validation uh, also as a side job. Very few uh, big startup ideas um, need you to be full time sitting in an office or a coffee shop serving the customers. Um, but you can opt to seek for that, uh, but it's also very difficult to raise that funding. So most likely that funding, the time to raise the funding, you could actually work on validating your idea with your team. Um, there's also public money and you may get public money so that that gives you the full free time. But there's one trick um, problem with this as well is that if you take that funding and now you make all the team members depending on the revenue uh, to pay salaries for everyone full time. Now when you if you don't manage to validate your business model uh, on time and people are joining only because they also get paid salary of money that is not real, is not coming from customers, uh, then this time bomb will tick and you have that kind of time of runway to succeed in that validation. It may be good or not so good thing depending on your situation, how you, and how you look at it, but the key here is to be aware of this kind of uh, setting that most likely if you don't get enough revenue, or if you don't get enough validation to get uh, additional funding uh, then and people are dependent on that income then most likely there's a high risk that the whole team will explode uh, if the money runs out and you are not able to kind of fall back into mode where you need to work, work part-time. It's actually easier to work part-time and then is in and, and once there's real revenue to then step by step uh, go to uh, live from that revenue and also get funding at that point and that's also how investors like to see it but unfortunately there are also ideas that where that doesn't work and it's really justifiable to to take the risk of funding and this model and there is no right or wrong way these are just the ways to be aware of how those play out uh, because again oftentimes we see that many don't think about this and they just think the funding is a good thing and the funding will enable things to happen now but then they have not spent enough time on ideation or prioritizing the ideas they put the effort and, and everything the public funding on the first idea they have they do the validation and, and realize that well it worked but there wasn't big enough market for example which is same as failure uh, in, in, in certain ways. So funding options to have idea competitions when you can win a prize uh, and uh, any money that is small enough that doesn't guarantee salaries for anyone but can help uh, buy service capacity or buy you some external design service, whatever that may be that you would need that would accelerate the business and the process itself but doesn't uh, uh, yet get to the level that uh, has the potential team member uh, issue is, is, is good and safe in certain way. But the idea competitions, you could win prices, money, services, uh, credibility, visibility. Of course, you can tap into friends and family. They may support you also beyond uh, just lending money. They can, they can just support you uh, so that you can focus on this for a certain period of time. There's grants and uh, you can join incubators that get at least some of the costs covered. They may also have funds. Uh, Pre-sales, 
So that's a big opportunity these days where you can do crowdfunding, not even uh, equity crowdfunding where you sell your shares, but you can test also that works as a potential validation that if you can communicate your vision, you can communicate your mission, you can communicate your offering, your product or service in such way that it clearly already demonstrates and communicates to your mission, so to whom and what, in a way that they want to buy it, for you to able to build it, then, then that's of course uh, a great validation at the same time. But it also comes with the risk, like all the financing comes with a certain risk, that if you are not able to then actually deliver on actually building that product, and that's the most common failures of the crowdfunding campaigns, is that it costs much more to produce, it couldn't actually be produced, or the team was unable to, to uh, actually make it work, uh, then, then it's, uh, it's totally uh, very hard to come out from that as the same company or team uh, to gain the credibility to try again. So most likely it requires a whole new team, at least a whole new name and a setup. Uh, business angels, of course, uh, and uh, accelerators at this phase are starting to become an option because there's so many accelerators, but that there are many that have much lower entry criteria that even at this phase, some of the accelerators may, may be uh, accepting, depending on the, on the geography as well. So for the next development phase, basically this is um, and the checklist uh, for the next phase. It basically means that the types of things that should be kind of accomplished at this phase and, uh, and or at latest, they should be the first thing on the next phase. So there should be committed skills balanced core founding team, optimally two or three capable of doing design, build and, and uh, business. The uh, IPR should be clear, uh, how our contributions convert to assets of the company, how the company can use the creations that we make and every contributor that contributes for the company, that it can create, uh, make business out of those. Having resources, and this should be embedded in the co-founding team to actually develop the product without dependencies of uncommitted external resources, at least for a certain period of time, and at least for the minimum viable product. So something that can be tested in the markets. Or, of course, even better if they already have initial product or service developed uh, at, that, at this phase. But minimum requirements to be considered uh, logically making sense to move to the next phase. So that next phase can forget this phase and purely just focus on executing on the validation phase. So the commitment is really the shareholder agreement. Uh, covering these topics uh, and all the related topics uh, covered in this module uh, in a sensible way. So capturing the essence of each of the elements uh, and, and written in there with, with, uh, uh, with enough detail but not going too crazy about all the different uh, things that, uh, that uh, could be put in there. So having common sense in all of this is important. But the key, key so much is not the level of detail under each point, but really that uh, all of these different points are considered in some shape or form at some level. And there's a team-based, joint, aligned uh, consensus of your view into that matter and you're committing to that because you can't function as a team if all the time everyone's questioning every single thing and or every single ball is in the air at the same time. It makes it very hard to, to make progress, specifically if there's still also commitment issues that some team members are kind of there, but they're not really committed and they're not really uh, contributing or executing. So tools and resources, so any of the keywords mentioned or in the presentation 
that feels unclear, just type it in YouTube and you will find great explanating videos by many experts of many kinds from different backgrounds for deeper knowledge on any of the topics. Uh, so this is the best way to really kind of get answers to anything that was unclear. When you look, look at the top five videos, you consume a little bit of here and there. If you need more, check out the podcasts that cover those topics. Uh, if you still need more, put a Google alert, automatically send you news articles about that topic. And in, in, in no time, you know enough about that topic for sure. And that's why we're not covering all of these things in more detail. We are covering the holistic perspective in what matters, when and why. And then you can consume all the details by all the other experts on those subject matter topics. Uh, without hopefully getting lost in individual topics like Lean Startup, overly extensive and thinking that's the whole thing. If I master that, I master everything related to startups. That's not true. There's many other things to master. And that's why we provide this, uh, this more holistic and very neutral uh, perspective into this as an index and as a framework, as a guideline, how you can think of things and how you can consume more knowledge when you need the knowledge. And at the same time, limit the knowledge you need to be aware of when you are on the specific phase, because the next phase matters only if you get there. So some of the, the key inspirers and, and references to, to knowledge, uh, I recommend, highly recommend to learn about these people, learn about their expertise, learn about their key things. They have many other topics that they discuss um, and, uh, and, and uh, really uh, are experts on some of the subtopics sub uh, covered here. And, uh, and, and you can consume most of these materials for free and, uh, and, and learn really. They have great stories, great examples, case studies, statistics, and so forth. And, uh, and there are some additional tools and resources uh, for, uh, for finding uh, team members, uh, recruiting uh, some uh, event formats that are specifically relevant at this phase. Uh, some of the templates from our, our side we, we have to help protect the IPs and think about the IPs. Work on your shareholder agreement, we have templates for that and some other tools. And uh, we, if you have ideas and suggestions for updating these, for great references, great. If you have ideas to improve the materials, Great, all the feedback that you can give uh, will try to improve this material. And if you have more significant uh, contributions that you want to do, write some parts for this uh, or suggest uh, other things, we will we'll evaluate those. Uh, we'll, we'll add them to the open source curriculum and, uh, and we'll give credit to all the contributors that, uh, that join, join uh, this effort of developing this training material and curriculum uh, for more uh, scalable use around the world uh, by different parties. 